Yes, hello, I'm here once again. You see the thumbnail. <laughs> Jay Cocky was on SmackDown, baby. Season premiere, I got my boy LA on the right. Looking straight at Roman Reigns, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, he's looking at that Jay Cargo picture, bro. I'm just saying, my God. <laughs> 13th of October, 2023, baby. Hey. Hey, we are here. You know what I'm saying? The big guns came out <laughs> on SmackDown. Hey, we're going to get into it. Your like, share, subscribe. You know what to do. Help your boy out. You know what I'm saying? Especially the likes and the subscription. Hey, get it done if you're not subscribed. Subscribe and uh, I appreciate you. <laughs> but yeah, let's kick this off. So, SmackDown in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, and the show kicks off. <laughs> it's crazy. The show kicks off with John Cena. And he's out there, you know what I'm saying? He's getting the adulation from the crowd, you know, the usual Cena stuff, the usual Cena, Cena um, spiel, you know. I'm John Cena, you know what I'm saying? And I'll come to. Smackdown live, that kind of thing. So, and all of a sudden, Roman Reigns comes out, you know what I'm saying, with the bloodline. I'm saying him, you know what I'm saying, Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman hasn't got no white hair anymore, he's, he's dyed it black again. So, he's recovered <laughs> since Roman Reigns returned. And, uh, yeah, he's out there. <laughs> Um, and LA Knight shows up, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Roman Reigns was like beating down Cena on the mic. He was like, he was a coward. Saying, because all of a sudden he comes back when Roman Reigns ain't there. That's what Roman Reigns was saying, which is kind of just true. So he was like, Roman Reigns just literally disappears. Cena shows up. I'm going to try and avoid Roman Reigns. Um, LA Knight comes out, massive pop. LA Knight gets in Roman Reigns' his face, as you can tell by the picture. He's staring right at my boy with them shades on. You know what I'm saying? And uh, with these um, Leon shades on, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. If you've seen that movie. Shout out. You know what I'm saying? Put it in the comment section down below. But uh, yeah, he's, he's staring at Roman Reigns. <laughs> saying how he's coming for him. You know what I'm saying? Roman Reigns is like, what the heck? Just you upstart, you know, so you, you young kid trying to stop me after a thousand and something day rain, you know what I'm saying? You can't beat me, homie. You know what I'm saying? It's not in so many words, but that's basically what he said. He said, You can't step up to me. I'm a legend in this game. <laughs> well, it's just at the end, but I'm saying it now. So, yeah, Roman Reigns um, deflects. But LA Knight was about to say some more. Jimmy comes in, attacks LA Knight, LA Knight, throws him out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then Solo tries to get involved. Cena sorts him out, and then they're standing strong in the ring. Roman Reigns gets in Eddie Knight's face, and then he walks out. And uh, <laughs> Eddie Knight is looking strong in the ring. I'm like, okay, they're doing this now. So, season premiere, they're getting Eddie Knight ready for the Roman Reigns matchup. Uh, potentially crown jewels. I'm like, it's for me. This is kind of this is really early. I don't think you should be ready for this kind of match yet. Till after probably a Rumble win, Elimination Chamber win, that kind of thing. That's when they should be doing it to get him ready for like a championship reign when the time comes. But um, that's they should have done it. But um, obviously they're doing it now. So they're gonna. Because if they do it now, Roman Reigns is losing that match. He's going to beat LA Knight and they're going to find a way to keep LA Knight strong after this defeat. So this is what they wanted. They wanted to have like a massive loss just yet. Which he's going to have if he faces Reigns right now. This could be a little ploy for him to kind of get toe-to-toe -to -toe with Reigns. And the match doesn't actually come to fruition and Cena steps in his place instead. I don't know how it's going to work, but we'll see. He might not even face Reigns at the Crown Jewel. We'll see. Might be at a later date, but... This might have just them just to test the walls a little bit. It's a little, little test. Little, as Daddy Magic would say in AEW, a little taste. You know what I'm saying? Get the nipples hard. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, we've got a little taste of that. And after that, we have a uh, pretty deadly Elton Strong copying Roderick Strong's next strong. I'm like, WWE didn't have to do that. Bro. I'm like, 
because they have the same weight as Roderick Strong's great gimmick that he has right now. They're flipping, <sighs> stealing it to go flipping. I wouldn't, I wouldn't comment now. It's ridiculous. But um, Pete Deadly versus um, Pete Dunne and Ridge. Uh, Pete Dunne and Ridge um, lose because Elton Preets um, literally feigns an injury. They blew his knee out or something like that. And the referee believed him, and then he just rolls up. Rich Holland, with a kick, kicked him in the face. One, two, three. Pete Dunne get a win on their return. As you'd expect. Go ahead, Bruce ain't going anywhere, especially with Sheamus. His contract's still up in the air, so he hasn't been using the sign of contract yet, so. So they're trying to get him signed. Because um, Sheamus has been built and conspicuous by his absence, you know what I mean? He's obviously trying to sort something out. Uh, trying to get that Drew McIntyre deal. <laughs> he's trying to get that Drew McIntyre deal, bro. He's trying his best. So you're going to see Sheamus pop up at some point, because I don't see Sheamus going anywhere else, so I don't see it. I see him being a lifer there, to be honest. Um, I don't know for that. No. My boy, Talito, Talito, backstage, you know what I'm saying? Running into Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley saying how last time he saw him, he was beating him up, he was beating his ass. Talito goes, hey, it's for sure. Uh, uh, why don't me and you have a match? Bobby's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And all of a sudden, the Street Profits beat him up, beat up Talito, stomp him out, loses the apple. Bobby Lashley catches the apple and goes, hey, you're on the more you can shoot before the apple that in. That's the end of the segment. <laughs> so, um, flipping Zelina goes in there to help out at the LWO. Bailey runs into him and goes, Hey, what the hell are you dealing with these fools? Should we, should we talk to us about talking to the flipping damage control? Zelina's like, Nah, honey, me and you in the ring. Well, other Peter says, You two, because they're arguing with each other back and forth, talking rubbish. I don't call them like, I don't call. And then Pierce is like, yo, yo, in the ring, right now. So then, um, then they, they're about to go in the ring, but before that happens, before that match happens, um, Roman Reigns is in the back in the dressing room with Solo, Jimmy, and the wise man, Paul Heyman. Jimmy's acting a fool again, acting stupid. And Roman Reigns is like, who told you to go out there? Look at you all smiling, going yeet. I hate hearing that word for a start. Stop saying ye. And then um, kind of scolds him a little bit, and then that's it. That's it for now. Because the competition was right the night. Um, but um, yeah, Roman doesn't like that ye because Jay Uso does it. Because Jimmy brings up Jay at one point, and he's like, "Hey, don't say that name around me, homie. No ye, no Jay Uso. Don't say nothing about him, this guy. He's done his old news. He's the past. He don't exist no more. He's been erased." So that's the end of that segment. And after that, we have Selena and Mario and W World. I love you all. This is damage control, Bailey. Bailey's on a, a losing streak right now. Um, she definitely needs a damn big win because she's been losing her ass off. Her beautiful big ass off. And uh she needed this win. There's no way she's going to lose to Selena. I was like, there's no way. There's no way that I make Bailey lose to Selena. I thought they were supposed to be doing away. I was afraid. I was, I was literally praying out here. Literally. <laughs> I was going bad. Um, I was closing my eyes, watching them. I was like, I mean, I said, they're going to make Bailey lose, aren't they? Are they going to make him lose? And then the match happens. You know what I'm saying? Uh, EO gets involved. EO's out there, obviously. And, um, and uh, I about to say Charlie, yeah. The Kota Kai's out there, I'm using the Kota Kai's real name Charlie, but yeah, she she's she was out there too. But Bailey gets a distraction win, rolls plant to the face, to the map, boom. One, two, three, Zelina's out. She she's winning by distractions against the Lena. I'm like, oh how far Bailey has fallen to get a distraction win over Zelina of all people. My goodness. Um Zelina beating her ass too, I was like, what the hell is going on, Bailey couldn't get any offense hardly, she got a few couple of moves in, but that was about it, um, if, you, if you're having a hard time beating Zelina, you got problems bro, you know you're at the bottom of the barrel, and that's what Bailey's right now, she's at the rock bottom right now, she's, she's below Dakota Kai, that's what I feel at this point, um, they did not, they did not know how to book 
Bailey, Triple H is not allowed to book Bailey as well. Her booking is horrendous, trash. Um, but yeah, Charlotte runs out, gets involved, hits, um, being, she hits EO, um, randomly attacks her outside. Flipping EO looking weak as, as usual, looking flipping weak. Um, but yeah, Charlotte's out there, have to be involved in something else. Charlotte, stay away, go away, Charlotte, flipping out. But anyways, next segment, we've got Triple H. Coming out to the ring, bow down to the, bow down to the king. He comes out. Adam Pearce is in the ring. He says Adam Pearce is about to get promoted to be a general manager of Monday Night Raw. For, to be honest, he's been doing that for both shows anyway. So why did he get the title? It was, it was apparently he was unofficially general manager of Raw and SmackDown. He was officially now a manager of Raw. So he goes, what next? So all of a sudden, Dominic Mysterio comes out. The crowd's booing the hell out of him. So Triple H makes a joke about them pumping in crowd noise. <laughs> this flipping guy, bro. Had to be Triple H of all people to say that stuff. Um, he comes out, and then all of a sudden, he's like, hey, hey, hey. Don't talk to us. Talk to the new general manager of SmackDown, which is Nick Aldis. The crowd was like dead. The crowd was like, who the heck is this geezer? They all know it's Magnus, they all know it's, you know, Jamie Calder's the longest reign end of champion, they all know that. So, these fans are not cultured, you know. These are a bunch of casuals at this show. Only watch WWE. So then, he comes to the ring, he goes to Dominic Mysterio, I'm a big fan. And then Dominic smiles for a bit and he goes, I'll be dad. <laughs> that was right. Nick, oh, this is such a great talker. This, this, this is a... This could be a gateway for him in the ring, but we'll see how it goes because he's gonna be a manager of SmackDown now. So he's running the, he's running um, the, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the A show SmackDown. So SmackDown for me has always been the A show. Raw, I've never been a big Raw guy, um, but yeah, he's running SmackDown now, and uh, he says, since Cody, I'm saying since Cody brought over Jey Uso to Monday Night Raw, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have to get someone from Raw to SmackDown. So then, I'm thinking it's Cody. Everyone in, uh, and their mother thinks it's Cody, just to kind of get them finish to finish the story in quotation marks. That stupid, that stupid quote that everyone's running with from Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. So he brings over Kevin Owens. Everyone's like, oh, but he was da na na da na na da na 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 da na. Oh, but there's no. Oh, but what they they took him from Sami Zayn again. He's split him up again. Sammy's on his own again. What the hell's going on? So what the hell's Sammy gonna do? Just fight the judgment day by himself? <laughs> it's just gonna be him, Cody, and Jay Uso fight the judgment day the entire time now. Oh my god, it's gonna be enough. <sighs> okay, okay. So he He's on SmackDown now. He stuns Donnie Mysterio, shakes everyone's hands in the ring, and the segment ends. Um so yeah, that's that. So then, I think um, Nick Hollis even has a segment with, yeah, no, no, that's, that's later, that's later. Yeah, so then after that we got, um, yes, yeah, this one, this one, yeah, here we go, right here. So you say Nick Hollis in the back, and I'm saying getting acquainted to the, to the roster. Um, so Chelsea, that's how yeah, Chelsea Green gets in Nick Hollis's face. She's looking good, by the way, Chelsea Green. <laughs> Matt Cardone, you lucky son of a gun. Chelsea Green is she's something special to look at, my goodness. Um, but yeah. Her and uh, Piper Nevin are saying to, <laughs> saying to um, Nick Caldis how it's going to run on SmackDown, basically. They're the tag team champs, basically. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Charlotte's on the side. Nick Hollis is saying she's classy and all that kind of stuff. Classy, my, my back before. There's nothing classy about Charlotte Flair. Just saying. Look at this. Flipping hell. Look at this. I'm not looking at Charlotte. I'm looking at flipping Chelsea Green. I am not looking at Charlotte's direction. <laughs> They're side by side. I'm flipping Chelsea all day, every day. 10 out of 10 times, bro. Three or one in that equation. Um, but, um, 
yeah, that's just me. Um, but yeah, Charlotte apparently gets a title match against EO next week for some reason. I don't know because apparently she would have won the triple threat, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Um, Asuka was tapping out again, as she always does. Um, let me see. Asuka gets so damn mistreated. She's losing match. She shouldn't be losing. Looks looks weak in defeat. Looks weak in wins. She looks weak in anything. Um, ridiculous. Uh, Triple H can never book Asuka. She can, he can never book Asuka at all. Dusty Rhodes was the one booking Asuka great. Triple H had no idea how to book Asuka. He had not zero. Um, but yeah. But Dusty Asuka is a, a woman on an island, bro. She's she's just for, she's spoiled up for everyone in that roster. Um, but uh, yeah, Charlotte turns around and runs straight into Jade Cargill. So I'm I'm like my beautiful girl on the left on the thumbnail. My gosh, man. Oh, body, my gosh. Okay, so. She's smiling at Charlotte, so you know what I'm saying? She's happy to see her, you know what I'm saying? And Charlotte's just like, for sure, walks off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she goes, it's my pleasure, you know what I'm saying, to meet you. She goes, it will be, and then walks off. That's what Charlotte makes you said. She'll put you in the middle of it. She was introducing Jade to Charlotte, and Charlotte were having it. So she'll put you like, ooh, spicy. <laughs> Basically, and then uh, Jade's smile just wiped up her face, and then she was like, "Oh, for sure, is that it? Is Charlotte? Yeah, for sure. We're about to, you're about to get this work." So I'm interested to see how that goes, because she knows that if they go to pay the head, Charlotte's winning that match. You know, they know it's gonna happen, bro. Ain't no way they're gonna have Jade Cargill go for Charlotte in their, in their first match. There's no way. But I love the way they did this though, because Charlotte looked genuinely scared. As soon as she saw Jade, I like that. Get that fear in her eyes, bro. Let's get Charlotte some losses. Let's go Charlotte some back to back losses clean. Let's go. Uh, let's get Charlotte down the bottom of that roster real quick. You know what I'm saying? Get Charlotte over a little, little mini little losing streak. I just want to see her Charlotte Flair. Get on a losing streak. I want to see her go for any titles. Put her in some feuds down there at the, the lower card. You know what I'm saying? Let her rack up some losses down there. Let her get her mojo back at a later date. We don't want you to see Charlotte on top of the card anymore. We don't want to see that, bro. Um, I guess we're going to get some seasoning down there, you know what I'm saying? Um, she doesn't win to the palm very often. Let's get let's let her rip, hit rock bottom, bro, just for a little bit. Um, but yeah, J. Cargo, great little introduction from Triple H. I like it. Um, after that, um, Cody and J versus. Uh, Warlord Theory. Uh, short little matchup. 1D, they get the win. Um, as you expect. Cody and Jane, I don't want to hear these spells. Um, and after that, as soon as they get the. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a little stuff on Twitter as well going on right now with Jane. So Cody and uh, Sexy Red. I don't say Sexy Red saying she wants to go on TV because. <laughs> Jay and Cody, they saw the uh, conference, them going yee. And then she's like, ski yee. So someone making videos with Jay Uso and Cody Rose, ski yee, that song. And then she's like, hey, where's my invite to WWE? What's going on? And then Jay Uso was there, pull up. <laughs> so, got Sexy Red trying to get to the show, you know what I'm saying? Just like Cardi B, but we're going to sit to all these rappers trying to get involved in WWE again. Hey, man, so good publicity for the company. Um. But yeah, after they win this match, they run into the bloodline. Cody and Roman go face to face. Jay's looking at Jimmy and Solo, you know what I'm saying? We love to see it. Let's go. Cody about to finish the story. We're going to see how this is going to go. So obviously we've got LA coming after Roman. Cody looking at Roman, you know what I'm saying? It's interesting. It's interesting. Also, that uh, that happens, and then all of a sudden, it's going to be LA Knight versus Solo. You know what I'm saying? Good little matchup. You know what I'm saying? Definitely chemistry in the ring. Very good matchup. They work well with each other. 
hold for hold, move for move, cut for cut, they work well with each other, and they're pretty much things. Like, I like to see that. These two don't have a lot of matches here, I can see already. Uh, solo on any night. Solo any night. You know what I'm saying? Gets the W. BFT. You know what I'm saying? Blood Force Trauma. Of the some shenanigans outside the ring. You know what I'm saying? Cena came out to back it. You know? Um, but then after the match, Spear! Well, Ray takes him out to close the show. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a legend in this game. You just open that sensation. Raise the title. Or oh, raise Breeze's playing. You know what I'm saying? Hey. To close the show. Hey, I, I love to see it. We love to see it. This is a good episode of SmackDown on the season premiere, you know. Uh, 13th of October 2023. Great episode of SmackDown. Um, solid from top to bottom. Very well crafted show. Jade sighting. I'm saying, putting the fear of God into Charlotte. <laughs> Say literally. LA cooking Roman for a little bit. I love you love to see it. Bailey picking up a win. You always love to see that. Bailey looking good as well there. She's looking good. So Jade, my gosh man. Chelsea oof, whoa free some smoking bags out there. It's free Bailey J Carbo Chelsea Green free bags out there. Um but yeah my boy Ellie and I picking up another win. You love to see it. And uh, yeah uh, I know you guys speak in the comment section down below. Did you enjoy it as much as I did? Because I enjoyed this hell out of this show. Anyways, uh, like, share, subscribe, press the notification bell. You know what to do. Get them likes up, baby. Let's get this seen. Share this around the internet. Let's get this shown. Get your boy's name out there. Legend of Bold. Let's go. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.